Okay, um, several people have asked, why would they want to do the manual FTP style WordPress install over the more simple and easy one-click script install? Okay, so the main reason for doing something manually like that is because if you do it manually, you know where things are. If you do something like a one-click install, sometimes they can, well, for example, they will... Uh, install new plugins that you didn't ask them to install. Right. They may install WordPress in a slightly different location. Uh, they may make it difficult for you to get FTP access after the install. So there's a couple of different reasons why it might be slightly more difficult to maintain the site afterwards. And That's the big issue. For, and tell us some of the reasons why you might want FTP access, easy FTP access, without having to set it all up later. Well, if, if you've installed WordPress using FTP, first of all, you're, that is the standard way for everybody in the world who installs WordPress. So your website is not going to have any non-standard features. So what I mean by that is if you, uh, if you read some help documents on self-assembly sites or you look at some of our videos or you find them elsewhere on the web and you find a guide on installing WordPress or doing anything with WordPress, you're, because you did a standard install, all the instructions are going to be... So it's kind of a universal thing. Yeah. Okay. Whereas if you do a one-click install, like, for example, on Bluehost, they install, for example, they install a pile of plugins that, uh, that you didn't ask for. So they install, I think, 10 different plugins. Whereas when you do a normal install, you end up with uh, a Kismet and the uh, Hello Dolly plugin, which you can delete immediately. Right. But you can... That you only get what you asked for. Right. Now, I've also seen on another web host where you do a one-click install and you can't actually find the WordPress install. Uh, and I have it as another video here on um, one reason why I don't like one-click installs. That's the title of the video. I'll link to it below this video. Basically, what happens is you can't actually get FTP access to your WordPress install. And that could be a problem if you want to do... Uh, upgrades, if you want to add professional themes, if you want to add free themes, if you want to add plugins, all of those kind of things you need FTP access for. So, and as well for, for doing backups, for backing up your WordPress website and t saving a copy of it or restoring a backup. So it basically, if you do a one-click install, you're not sure what level of control you have over the site. Whereas if you do a manual install, you have total control. And you're in, you're, that's the difference, you're total control. That's, that, that's it for me. Yeah. Right. Now I know that the FTP uh, install takes a little bit longer and it's slightly more complex because you've got to set up your FTP client and that. But I think it's worthwhile because of that extra control. Even for people who might find that that's on the edge of their um, the kind of their technical experience, they can follow along with the videos. It's quite easy to do here on self-assembly sites. Follow on the videos exactly and you should have no problems whatsoever. But it also gives you a sense of what your website actually is behind the scenes and how it's organized with the folders in other folders and when you are put images in that folder, how you can access them through your dashboard and these yeah. sort of things. You get a better feel for what your website is actually doing. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you do, you have more of a, a kind of an understanding of the nuts and bolts behind everything because you see where things are. So yeah, it does make things a little bit more clear. Now some people might want that level of clarity, they might just want it to work. Yeah. And if you just want it to work and you need something done quickly, like you're following along with our quick start program, then what you do is you you just literally go in, you do the one click install and you move on to the next step and you don't worry about it too much. You know, that's if you need something done quickly, that's the way you go about it. But if you want to have a bit more understanding of what's going on or you just want to make sure that you've got this total control over your WordPress site, uh, then installing through FTP is the way I recommend.